guys and welcome back. I am Ashley with Lavish Grace Photography. I have been a portrait photographer for 13 years. Wait, yes, <laughs> that number just doesn't seem right. For 13 years now and today I'm going to be talking about a Canon RF lens. If you haven't seen any of my videos, I use a Canon R6. I do mostly portrait work. I do some product photography. Uh, my favorite lenses are the 51.2, which is on the camera right now, and the 100 millimeter macro 2.8. Those are my two favorite lenses, and that's the majority of what I use. I do have an old Sigma Art EF 35 millimeter that I pull out on the occasions that I need a wider angle lens, but it just hasn't been cutting it for me lately. When I have to pull it out, I don't like the photos as much, so I am in the market for an RF wider angle lens. That is the point of this video. I rented the Canon 15 to 35 millimeter F 2.8. I rented this from Lens Rentals to test it out, see if this could be my next lens. Unfortunately, the week that I rented it, it was raining all week and all of my photo shoots got moved around and I did have two shoots with this. And then I took pictures of my son um, a couple of different times just around the house to try and test this out. Oh, and at the park. When I test a lens, I like to test um, to test the focus. I like to have him swinging. It tests how fast it'll focus. So uh, we went to the park one day and got a few shots there. But unfortunately, I didn't get to use it as much as I wanted to while I had it. But I do have opinions on it. And I'm gonna show you some photos I've taken, show you just my initial thoughts of this lens, and then maybe you can help me decide if this is the lens that I should get. Okay, so let's break into this. I have never used anything wider than a 28 millimeter before. So the 15 to 35 was definitely different for me. And I normally like the more zoomed in focal lengths, 50 and 100, like I've said, are my sweet spots. That's where I like to be. Um, but there are instances where I want more of the background, and so that's when I would go to my 35. That's the widest prime lens I've had. When I tested out the Leica Q2, it has a 28 millimeter, and that was so weird for me, but I actually really liked it, which is why I thought I might like this. Now, the ability to go to 15 millimeters is absolutely insane. Coming from a 50 millimeter user, 50 millimeter lens user, it's crazy how close you can be to something and zoom out. I mean, I know how it works. I'm not an idiot, but it just, it, until you use it, it just, I don't know. It was so crazy. I'd be right at a, up at a soda can and zoomed all the way out and I could see like everything. Um, so I could see myself having fun with that and using that um, in different situations. I think architecture, when I'm doing like seniors in downtown, um, getting some of the buildings, I think that would be really, really cool looking. So I definitely see some uses for the 15. Um, probably I really liked like the 24 millimeter when I was using it around that range, but I actually enjoyed this lens a lot more than I thought I was going to. Now let's talk a little bit about the quality of the images. I think they were fantastic. It is an L lens, it's an RF, an L lens. So if it's not fantastic, that would be surprising at this point, um, but so crisp, so clear. Let me, hold on, let me show you. I have a picture on my fridge right now I took of my son and it's one of my favorite pictures ever, hold on. So I don't usually like having things on the front of my fridge. I like it to be clean and tidy, but this giant photo of him makes me smile. And it's just so cute. This is just him laying on his bed laughing. And we had toys everywhere and it was chaos. But I know you can't tell from our printed picture and I'm, I'll put the actual picture on the screen. I just wanted to show you how stinking cute he is. I love this lens. It's so clear, it's so crisp. It gets the detail. The focus is actually pretty fantastic. Um, when he was swinging, I'll put in some of those pictures here, but it obviously it didn't get focus on every single time. That is a really difficult focusing situation, but I did catch focus and I did get some really cute pictures of him on the swing. Focus speed is great. Um, I didn't notice it being loud while it was focusing, so I think I could probably use this for filming as well. Picture quality colors, everything. There was no problems editing these images. I think this lens is fantastic. Obviously there's gonna be vignetting. 
I know people are gonna come in the comments and talk about that. I haven't done like the scientific shots of taking a picture of just the white wall and that's not what I'm shooting. And so if I don't notice it and if it doesn't affect me too much when I'm doing real world shooting, that's the only test that I'm interested in at this point. Um, I know that there are a bunch of people who are super geeky and techy with this kind of stuff, but um, honestly, when I test a lens, I wanna see in my photo shoots, in my daily business, how this fits into that. I'm sure there are some of you who can let us know in the comments if there are any other huge problems with this lens, but so far with what I've seen, I do enjoy this lens. Now, here is where I'm stuck and I need your help to tell me, what do I do? Um, I like this lens. I think it's fantastic. The only drawback is the 2.8, which is adequate in most situations. But when I use a wider angle lens, it's usually in a situation, either I'm outside wanting to get more of the building or I'm inside and I don't have enough room. So I need a wider angle lens. And in that instance, having a wider f-stop could be beneficial for indoor and low light. This is where I'm hung up. This is my catch up. This is, what am I trying to say? This is where I don't know what to do. Do I get this and hope the 2.8 is adequate for all the situations that I come across when needing this lens? Or do I wait and be patient for Canon to finally come out with an RF L lens in the, I believe it's rumored they're gonna have a 24, a 28, and a 35, and which one? I kind of like, I kind of really like the 24 millimeter focal length, so I could wait. I think it's gonna be a 1.4 around that area, F stop for the 24 millimeter, um, but also what's the price difference gonna be? This is a $2,000 lens. What is the 20, RF 24 millimeter 1.4, whatever it's gonna be, what's that gonna cost? This one is more versatile. I can, again, more focal lengths and the picture quality is amazing. So the only reason I'm not purchasing this right this second is the f-stop. I wanna know your opinions in the comments. Which would you get? Would you get the 15 to 35 or would you wait and get the 24, 28 or 35? Anybody know when those are actually coming out? I'm really, I really want a wide angle lens now. Um, but if it's coming in the next year or so, I can probably wait and continue using my Sigma art. I just don't, I don't like the pictures when I use it. So that's my little wrap up of the Canon RF 15 to 35 millimeter. If you have used this lens, please let me know what your thoughts are on it. Because again, I've only used it a handful of times and I didn't get to test it out as thoroughly as I wanted to. So all opinions on this lens, please let me know in the comments below. I also do want to remind you to be respectful to each other. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to gear. Everybody has different opinions. You don't have to be mean about your opinions. State your opinion, be nice about it. If there is another lens that you think I should test out and try before I do make my decision, please let me know as well. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see those future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. My thumbnails, I'm always like holding the lens by my head. <laughs> it's like, love the lens. My stomach's growling. I need to eat breakfast. If you do, the papa. I have a background if you haven't seen any videos, I use any videos.